Come on in, come on in. <laughs> what is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Este video is patrocinado por mis grandes bolsillos. Bienvenido a otra Crib Zone Excursion. And in this one. It's not known whether animals understand language or not. It is extremely clear that animals do understand voice tone. I could tell this dog the meanest things in an extremely friendly manner and he'll be really happy to hear it. Voice tone is really important when you're trying to educate a dog. It doesn't really matter what you say to a dog. How you say it to your dog is what really matters. That being said, the question you guys all have been asking does crypto understand different languages i will be telling this dog every command he knows in a variety of different languages i only speak two fluent languages which is english and spanish i know a bit of french <laughs> I'ma try and not use any hand commands since your body language has a lot to do with your dog's response. I'ma try and keep my movement to a minimal. As far as the rat and the fruit, these dogs have absolutely no discipline. I will not be trying this out on them. The rat is by far my most unobedient dog, followed by this strawberry tree right here. Mm. Approach me with caution. Oh my gosh, he's sucking me off. He's sucking me off so good. We're gonna start off by saying the commands in Spanish. Since that's what I'm most curious about, will Crypto understand Spanish? Oh my gosh. What the hell? He's sucking me off so good. He's sucking me off so good. This dog is missing a bunch of teeth. <laughs> the rat, the rat. Look at his little propeller. Okay, let's begin. Ven pa' acá. Ven pa' acá. Ven pa' acá. Good boy. He did do it. Siéntate. Siéntate. Aplástate. Ven pa' acá. Ven pa' acá. Good boy. <laughs> My guess is gonna be that since the come here command is two syllables, I'm gonna say that's the reason why he kind of understands that one. Crypto. <laughs> Siéntate. Siéntate. Aplástate. <laughs> Let's try and see if he does it in English. Just to make sure this dog is obedient. Let's go ahead and say it in English. Sit. Good boy. Crypto. Habla. Habla. Ladra. Ladra. Good boy. What's that Spanish? What's that Spanish? Siéntate. Siéntate. Good. Buen perro. Buen perro. Ladra. Good boy. I'm gonna go ahead and say that he's freaking bilingual. Siéntate. There he goes, I need to go upstairs. No. <laughs> Siéntate. You guys hear Nismo? Nismo. Perro tan chulo. Mm. I know you guys really want me to do an all Spanish video. In order for me to speak Spanish, I mostly only speak Spanish in Mexico or when someone speaks to me in Spanish. That video is a possibility in the near future. I'm gonna need to subtitle everything. I know my audience does have a couple of Spanish speaking people. But I'm gonna need to go ahead and make a video for you guys. Quédate. Quédate. Ven pa' acá. Siéntate. No lo hagas, perro. 
I might have to go ahead and say that that was a complete success. This dog is by far more bilingual than my ex. Someone did send in a fox. Crypto just absolutely destroyed it yesterday. I did the mistake on taking it out. This fox was the rat's favorite lover. He's completely gone. Someone also sent in this huge Kong ball. Now the problem with crypto is when he hears a squeaker inside of a toy, he just completely goes for the heart and he destroys it. How long will it take for Crypto to destroy this Kong ball? <laughs> we all know the fruit loves balls in his mouth. <laughs> Oh my god. KZE, can you make a day in the life of crypto? <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Crypto's day in the morning is not so much different than the rats. Where is this your ball? Good little run for his ball. Get. Oh sh. Ah. Is this your boner? Hmm? I have no idea what he actually does while he's in the backyard. Probably sleeps most of the time. I do have toys for him out here. His favorite will always be bones to chew. He has that bone right there. This nylon bone, which one of you guys sent in. Mr. Dasher Boner, you have two boners. Mm. I have three boners. His favorite by far would have to be this Kong ball. He just has no idea which one to choose. This here is Milo's little whip. It is completely falling apart. He doesn't care, he just hops in. Wow. We're off-roading on this one. We brought the mountain bike. We finally tightened the handlebar. It's a beautiful Monday morning. I think it's a morning. Come on. Oh, God damn it, dog. Okay, that got my heart pumping. I feel like my phone's hopping out of my pocket. This weather has been extremely beautiful. It actually did rain yesterday. California has been known to be in a drought. This past 2017, we did get out of the drought since it did heavily rain for about a week straight. When that week occurred, this park I normally take them to got extremely flooded. Is that Leela? The skate park is completely empty. It smells like nail polish. I think they might have tagged something recently. This video was all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. To sum up Crypto's day in the life, he just hopped out of his bed. It is 10.48 a.m. Most of the day, these dogs are sleeping when they are in the backyard. As soon as they wake up, put them some food and then some water. That's the first thing I do with all my animals. I feed them and then I just leave them in the backyard. Probably the next most important thing on his day would have to be when I feed this dog raw meat, chicken. Do believe I'm currently out. That footage will have to come later on. He eats. He <laughs> he sleeps. His third sum of the day would have to be when I do take him out either to go run or to the dog park. How often do you run him? I run this dog probably three times a week. Two to three miles each day. That's him pulling me on the longboard. That's not me walking him two miles. If you walk your dog two miles, it would be completely different from running your dog. There's a huge difference. That's pretty much all his sum of the day. Sleep. 
eat and run. You guys are requesting for me to do another Q&A, so I want you guys to go down to the comments and ask me some questions that have not been previously asked. I do have a Q&A playlist, so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Don't ask questions that have already been asked because I won't be answering those. I'm only going to be looking at the questions that catch my attention. Make sure you guys ask some really nice questions for this next Q&A. Be sure to caption it hashtag q and a that's three letters there's people asking how do you spell yg's name his name is literally two letters a y and a g a perfect example of a nice question would be if you can change any attribute from one of your dogs what dog would it be and why i might have to go ahead and say that i would change the fruit and just his attention seeking horniness i want him to be an independent brave woman that's gonna go ahead and be it for this one guys if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more peace feel free to follow me on instagram and on snapchat at kze underscore production